So today we'll be installing Traxxas GTR shocks on my Traxxas slash 4x4. As you can see in the rear, I already have the uh, GTR shocks with the blue rate springs. Now it's time to upgrade the front as they are stock with the aluminum caps. There's the part number for the front blue rated springs, 7448. And for the GTR shocks, that's 7461. Okay, so let's crack these open. I don't even need a knife. No, maybe I do. So in the box we have our instructions, which we're not going to read. And you have your Traxxas 30 weight shock oil, I believe, 30 or 35 weight. Then we should have some hardware, our screws, our shock collars, I mean shock perches. And then our beautiful blue GTI shocks, which we need to fill with oil. Okay, so now it's time to assemble these shocks. So first off, we're going to take our springs, separate the two. What I like to do, I like to have my rate facing towards the top. I just feel it just won't wear out as quickly as, as it would on the bottom. Take our lower shock perch, only goes on one way. And there you go, it's mounted. And now we just need to take our screw that's provided in the kit and install it with a two millimeter driver. So it's nice and snug. And now it's time to fill our shock up with oil. To be honest, it'd probably be easier to take it all apart again so you have a better grip while opening the shock cap. Now they give you oil, which is the Traxxas stock 30, 35 weight. I'll go ahead and put in some 40 weight low C oil. Okay. So I had cap still. So I go ahead and fill that up. I'm going to cycle it a few times, moving the shaft up and down to get rid of any air bubbles. There's a few coming out of there. Just gotta let those bubble out and then just continue topping it off. I think that's about good. Take my shock cap. Screw that together. There we go, a nice filled shock. Now I can take my spring, my shock perch, and then the locking screw that holds the perch on. There you go, that has one built shock. Oops. Now it's ready to be mounted onto the truck. All right, now it's time to install our two shocks and our remaining two screws that go on the top of the shock perch here, which replaces this shoulder bolt. Now to remove the shock, you just gotta remove this top screw and this bottom screw, and the shock pops off. that shocks removed we're gonna keep the lower screw that was originally on the truck we're gonna ditch the shoulder screw which we no longer need and now on the top we're gonna to use the longer screw which was provided with the GTR kit it will go like so and the top there fell out Just 
just gonna screw it back in the original spot that the old shock was in. is one GTR shock installed. And it's gonna be exactly the same for the other side and exactly the same install for the rear.